it on the filter So to typify Said she called me mister Under misty skies Hit to get there quicker She thinks it's human And I mean no harm Lock down and some things Fall back, she said Let's just keep this mutual Miss these lines I dread Too much life for us So I just released my second EP, Groove Curse, in 2014, and um, I felt like, well, especially living at home with my mum in Australia, and like wasn't paying much rent, like everything was too easy. Like I'm releasing this music with no challenge, and it, I had, I made a joke with my friends that like I couldn't write anything substantially deep because I had no life, I had nothing that was hard in my life, if you know what I mean. It was, it was just all like easy. So I figured the only way to do that would be like throwing myself in the deep end in all, all aspects of my life, like creatively and like lifestyle wise, moving to a different city. I was telling a friend this, but the first week I came here, my friends, these people I just met said to me, hey Jordan, do you want to come to this like, you know, open mic night, jam night on, on a Tuesday night? And that like blew my mind because it's just, <laughs> You know, like thing, things in where I was from, you know, it might be every Friday, everyone goes down to the, you know, street to watch some live music. But this was like world-class jazz jam on a Tuesday night and, you know, next door was another jam. So it was just so much more selection. Like um, every day, it's like a t city of that never sleeps, that whole saying. But yeah, man, that, that alone, in the first week, first few weeks, I fell in love with London and then I started seeing it sort of like trickle into my own like creative process. Um, you know, I met, I met these guys that I now run a podcast with called Are We Live? And that's Barney Artist, Alpha Mist and Tom Mish. And we've become, you know, close friends. Yeah, so I'm surrounding myself with these, these dudes that are like all doing it themselves as well. And like we're all always sharing each other music and, you know, asking advice. And with that sort of team around you, they give you honest advice and that sort of helps you, um, you know, be honest with yourself and be your harshest critic and then criticize your work. Most of my career up before moving to London, I was very much, I very much preferred producing music, you know, the album making process, the songwriting process, because, because you can get, you can just get lost in that process. And it wasn't until, you know, recently I'm um, playing shows around Europe, I'm um, performing with my band like a lot in London, you, you, can, <laughs> you can equally get lost in a live performance and um, and you see how your your songs translate to like a live crowd yeah recently like we've been i've play, been playing a lot more guitar in the live shows and i've seen that really really change the way i want to write music because i really enjoy playing guitar, standing up in front of everyone sort of thing. And that's really inspiring me to write more stuff on guitar and get more involved in that. So, you know, playing live more has, yeah, sort of maybe subconsciously had an effect on my songwriting process as well. I usually I'm quite shy when I'm showing people my music. Um, and I'm, I always sort of disclose, if I'm playing like an old track, I'll be like, oh, this is at a time when I was doing this or blah, blah, blah. It's not really my sound, blah, blah, blah. But when I play my album, it just speaks for itself because it covers so many different like sound palettes. You cannot compare yourself to me. We are different. Trapped inside a fake reality.
reality You cannot compare yourself to me We are different It's been a dream of mine to record, to work with a choir of some sort, so I was filming these live sessions for the um, of three tracks from the album and I wanted to try and sort of put together my own personal choir, get all my band and, you know, record an open space room and all record, you know, all of that together. So got to do it and we had a massive day of filming and there was a lot of planning, but it's honestly like, you know, one of the most fun days of my career getting to, you know, work with that many people. I think there was like 14 musicians involved, plus the film crew, plus like the guy that helped, you know, lend us the venue. So it's such an amazing experience. And like, we all learned a lot in terms of like, you know, producing sound in such an open space and getting this like organic tone and stuff like that. So it's really fun. I really look forward to like sort of sharing that with people and yeah, man, I'm really excited. People that have been following me for the past few years, this album will come as a surprise to many. But I think that's that's what it's about. Like this, you've got not enough time on this like earth, let alone the span of like a creative career is so short these days due to like income that you gotta take risks and you gotta like push yourself as an artist. So I've definitely pushed pushed some boundaries with my songwriting production. So people that have been following me for a while will definitely hear something different, but I think it's refreshing for them, you know, for them to hear. It's sort of my role to like, you know, show them new music, educate them, um, potentially expose them to some new sounds. So, you know, if I can convert a few, that's good enough for me. Like if I'm sort of, you know, helping people discover new music, that's the important thing. Yeah.